for a woman's three-year struggle and triumphant success with healing her severe case of varicose veins. Her throbbing pain and burning sensation stopped in just three days. And what's even better is, her varicose and spider veins completely disappeared in just 21 days. She restored her skin to a natural, healthy appearance with a smooth and youthful look and feel. And the reason why this is truly miraculous is, the varicose veins she got rid of were new varicose veins that had reappeared seven months after her vein stripping surgery. Curious? Just keep watching this short presentation and I'll reveal the secret to how she completely stopped the throbbing, burning pain in just three days. And she got rid of her ugly varicose and spider veins in just 21 days or less. This is the true secret to completely heal varicose veins and spider veins from the inside out. Reversing all the symptoms from varicose and spider veins while naturally restoring the skin to a smooth and younger look. What's important is without this secret, you have absolutely no chance of reversing your varicose veins. I'm Christine Miller, BSN RN, and I'm a veteran nurse who has worked with many cases of varicose veins, medically known as venous insufficiency. Over the last 15 years, I have come in contact with many patients suffering with this ugly and disfiguring and extremely painful disease. I was working with a patient named Sandy who had developed intense pain from a severe case of varicose veins with her second pregnancy. Her medical doctor recommended and she had undergone an incredibly painful vein stripping surgery. Now Sandy was back only seven months after her surgery and the twisted, ugly varicose veins and agonizing pain were back because new varicose veins were popping out all over her legs again. That day, I was supposed to be preparing her for another vein-stripping surgery. Sandy was in the examining room and broke down crying when she said, I don't want to go through the terrible pain and anguish of having another vein stripping surgery or any other procedure ever again. Sandy had three inch scars on her legs from her past surgery that looked like she had been cut with a razor. She wiped her eyes and told me the recovery from the vein stripping surgery was awful. The pain was intense for weeks afterwards and resulted in these hideous scars I'll carry for the rest of my life. She drew a shaky breath and tearfully said, I've tried everything. I've been on lots of prescription pain medications for several years before and after my surgery, yet all they seem to do is give me a horrible upset stomach and only temporary relief because the throbbing pain and burning sensations keep coming back. Even expensive pain relief creams don't seem to help stop the throbbing pain, burning, and cramping for very long. And I've tried all sorts of massages and leg exercises to help improve my circulation too. But with a husband and two young boys to care for along with my job, I just can't find time to do the massages and exercises like I should. And at night, I have to knock myself out with strong painkillers so I can get some sleep. Because if I don't, I toss and turn all night long from the deep pain, aching, and pressure. Now her condition had worsened. She had chronic inflammation in her damaged veins, which had caused nasty open sores to break open and ooze fluid on her ankles, which were very difficult to heal and even more difficult for her to cope with. Her intense suffering was all due to an advanced and extremely serious problem with varicose veins that could have been easily healed. With the right treatment. I knew she really had tried most of the common fixes, what her medical doctor had prescribed, and what methods she had found on the internet. But they all failed to cure her varicose vein problems. Then she complained of the things she missed the most. I miss not being able to ride my bike so much because I love taking a quick spin after work to reduce my stress and get away for a while. Sandy told me riding her bike helped to relieve her job stress before she picked up the boys at the babysitter. She was depressed because she hadn't enjoyed bike riding in several years, not since before she had become pregnant with her first baby. It was heartbreaking to listen to and watch her pain and fear. She also sadly mentioned she did not go on long shopping trips with her lady friends anymore because she could not walk all day and keep up with them. So many of the things she loved to do couldn't be done anymore due to her varicose veins. That's when I decided to share my personal story with Sandy. I said, I feel deeply for you. I want you to know you won't have to go through another surgery if you don't want to. There is another solution I'd like you to try first. And before I tell you about it, I want to prove to you that what I'm about to tell you really works because I used to have a serious varicose vein problem just like you, and I'll tell you how I naturally heal them. I said, just look at my legs right now. They are varicose vein and spider vein free. 
Sandy was impressed, and she was willing to try anything possible to avoid the hideous scars and pain. Try not to have to endure any more costly and risky medical procedures. During our talk, I revealed my secret. Sandy then went home very encouraged and willing to give it a try. Soon I'll reveal my secret to you, too. But first you need to know my own true painful varicose vein story. As a veteran nurse, after 14 years standing all day long doing long 12-hour shifts in a hospital and in doctor's offices, I developed painful, embarrassing, and ugly varicose and spider veins. As the years went by, I experienced painful leg cramps much more often and numbness that just continued to get worse. In my seventh year as a nurse, from constantly being on my feet all day long, the throbbing pain started to appear earlier during my shift and was accompanied with intense burning sensations which became unbearable. The worst time was at night, when I was ruthlessly attacked by the aching, stabbing pains radiating from my varicose veins. I spent most of my nights tossing and turning, trying to get comfortable, but the constant pressure, numbness, and stabbing pain kept me wide awake for hours each night. I suffered for years with the throbbing and burning pain, severe cramping, and ankle swelling. I was embarrassed by the ugly appearance of my unhealthy-looking varicose veins. At first, I covered them up with colored makeup, but as time went on, the raised lumps and bumps gave me away. So I had to wear long pants all the time, even in hot weather. I always felt so distressed and depressed when I looked at my naughty, lumpy, and gnarled veins with their ugly dark blue and purple colors. I stopped looking at my legs in the mirror. As the years went by, more varicose and spider veins started popping out of my legs, ankles, and feet. I experienced increased pressure from swelling around my ankles, which resulted in a constant throbbing ache, deep burning, and irritating itching sensations, which no amount of deep massage or rubbing in of pain relief cream could ease. My lifestyle drastically changed as the pain intensified. I could no longer enjoy relaxing walks in the park with my family. I stopped shopping excursions with my girlfriends. These sweet pleasures were now a thing of the past. That's when my horror began. My varicose veins rose up higher on my skin and became deeply discolored as they grew even larger. I could see they were clearly visible and extremely ugly to look at, and I wondered what my husband thought of my ugly varicose veins, wondering if it made me less desirable now. I was so embarrassed by the way my legs looked. I never wore a dress or shorts in public anymore so that I could avoid those funny looks people give you when they see them. The worsening condition of my ugly blue and purple varicose and spider veins combined with my lack of sleep due to ever-increasing pain and discomfort, finally forced me to make an appointment for medical treatment. My doctor recommended a Doppler ultrasound of my legs to show the amount and rate of blood flow through my leg veins. The Doppler test confirmed my fears. The veins in my legs were narrowing and weakening, causing the veins to be weak, painful, and large. My doctor reviewed the standard medical treatments with me including sclerotherapy, laser surgery, catheter procedures, vein stripping, and phlebectomy. I really didn't want to have any of the standard medical treatments for vein surgery, where the vein was cut, poked, prodded, or injected with toxic substances that scar and close the vein and kill it over time. I knew the worst problem was, all these procedures are expensive and cause significant scarring that does not go away, which in my book is just another form of ugly. The post-surgery recovery is extremely painful and many times the varicose and spider veins come back. From the personal experiences of my patients, I knew the horrible complications that can occur along with what can go wrong with these procedures. It's not all as simple and easy or as painless as the TV, internet, and newspaper ads proclaim. Many people, both women and men, have suffered with horrible complications due to blood clots, post-operative internal bleeding, excessive scarring, and numbness that never goes away. So to me, any surgery, laser treatment, or related procedure really wasn't an option. I was desperate for a real and permanent cure. Evenings after supper, I spent hours researching late into the night, using the internet and scouring medical journals, because my pain wouldn't let me sleep anyway, searching for anything that would help reverse my condition. I'd try anything to ease my pain and get rid of my varicose veins to get my life back. I tried many of the common varicose vein supplement products advertised in women's magazines, online, and in health food stores, but they were just a waste of my time and money. I found the problems with varicose veins appearing come from several different sources, resulting from standing or sitting for long periods of time, a lack of vital key elements the body needs, inflammation, and the incidence of a history of varicose veins in your family. For months, I diligently researched, and finally I stumbled upon a 
program called the All-Natural Varicose and Spider Vein Solution. It looked like it would work, but being a trained medical professional, I was still skeptical. My curiosity peaked as the author said his varicose vein removal program had over a 100 peer-reviewed published medical studies. When it comes to medical science, these are considered the gold standard, and I was impressed. I contacted the author, and here's what I discovered. The program is written by Robert Galerowitz, naturopath, a.k.a. natural health doctor, and a nutritionist. In fact, he created the program to get rid of his own spider veins. The all-natural varicose and spider vein solution program looked like it would work. Yet, I still needed to see the scientific proof in the medical citations the program claimed it had. Robert gladly sent them over, and I was thrilled with how well documented the scientific studies were that proved the science behind his treatments worked. He listed over 100 references to real medical studies that any medical doctor would approve. I had nothing to lose in trying this program. My only other alternative was to suffer with the traditional medically approved vein stripping or laser treatments. This meant spending thousands of dollars for a risky medical procedure, which I might regret having and may not permanently remove the problem. This is because more problematic varicose veins may come back in a year or less even after surgery or laser treatment. Here's what happened to me when I followed the program. I took the plunge and I'm glad I did. My results on the program were better than I could have imagined. Within seven days of starting the program, my pain completely disappeared. Thanks for watching. Click the link below to visit our website.